welcome, 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 XCW Galaxy. Here we are, Season 2, Episode 9. This at the very end of Season 2. We have one more episode after this. Thank you for joining us today. It is the episode where we run down the top five youngest debuting superstars in XCW history. You know, wrestling captures the imaginations and hearts of children. You know, as young as five, six years old, you know, all the way to... The old men, you know, the people who've wrestled, who've retired, the people who've, who've liked it since they were children. You know, wrestling has no age limit, you know, no bracket like that. So today, we're going to highlight those younger guys who maybe don't get the spotlight as much. Some, that do. But first, we're going to get into honorable mentions. We don't have top five honorable mentions this time. It's only three. But without further ado, here they are. our top three that's that's weird to say top three honorable mentions here we have dj wolbert and a guy who's been a mainstay in xcw especially you know these days making his debut in 2017 at the age of 15 years old he you know his, his parents are heavily involved in xcw behind the scenes you know so so he did have parental consent and is a-okay i know he's a little young but he is still currently on the roster and actually almost 17 years old two ladies now moving on to uh Spitfire? Who the hell is Spitfire? I don't even know who Spitfire is, ladies and gentlemen. Debuted in 2004 at the age of 12. Look at that. Back when XCW was still just a little baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Finishing off our top three honorable mentions. The man, the myth, the legend. Austin Chaos. Someone we haven't seen very much. Not at all this year, unfortunately. Debuts in 2011 at the age of 12 years old. Living the dream. I was still playing with Gears of War and Halo back then. His last appearance was at XCW Glory in 2017 in Austin. Fletch is waiting for you. Alrighty, right. There we go. The three honorable mentions. Austin Chaos rounding out the uh, the top three there with debuting in 2011 at the age of 12. Very, very surprising. You know, he's been a, a mainstay in XCW. I figured he actually would be in the top five. So I'm interested to crack this top five and see who actually is number one. Let's get to it. Starting off our top five, ladies and gentlemen, we have Donnie Dark. No, not Donnie Darko. He's not that important, ladies and gentlemen. He debuted in 2003, our inaugural season, the ripe young age of 11 years old. Man, that still blows my mind how young some of these guys were. His last appearance was at Summer Mania 3 back in 2005. What a, what a send-off. What a show to go out on. Number four. Four, ladies and gentlemen, who talk about the man, the myth, the legend. Talk, let's talk about this guy, Dylan Bostic, ladies and gentlemen. Debuting all the way back in our inaugural season, he's definitely a uh, big part of XCW history. The age of also 11 years old. Man, got some young ones in here. I remember. Look, look at this back footage. Oh man, you gotta love that, Dylan. Along with Fletch and Genocide, actually helped jumpstart XCW. That's why I say, you know, he's he's really can't not be understated how important this guy is. His last appearance on the roster was in 2008, and he's made off and on appearances, most recently at the X-rated 10th anniversary, ladies and gentlemen, and making his impression felt. Made appearances in places as Ring of Honor, Impact, and actually the WWE. Right along here, ladies and gentlemen, down our list. Number three, Colton Kravitz, family member of Fletch there. You know, he made his XCW debut back when we were still mattresses. And, oh, 2010 at the age of... 11 years old oh my lord Man, i came a, a couple years later he was the final xcw cruiserweight x division champion something you don't really hear about too much and he actually made a brief return back in 2017 that actually really fucking sucked ladies and gentlemen number two the big timer with a why not an eye Chase Jones, the brother of Brother Jones, the man, the myth, the legend, debuting in 2005 at the age of 11. I'm noticing a trend here. We like 11-year-olds. Not in that way. Not in that way. He first debuted in actually EBW, not actually XCW. Number one, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I, I can see this one coming now. Brendan, the bad man. Stick Is that even him? Oh, my God. He looks so different now. But, yes, ladies and gentlemen, of course, this is about the youngest wrestlers he debuted, wow, 2003 at the age of six. The man is, I believe, 20 years old now. Brenda will return a couple different times, you know. In 2012, as one half of the Canadian Forces, that stint was, was actually pretty memorable, but 
the most successful is his current one, the one I'm sure that's freshest in your mind, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, few of that vicious there, Clockwork House, a fun match. His recent run has been his most successful, becoming XCW champion as, whew, the age of 20. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Should have known it would have been Brennan Stickle. I knew he'd be in the top five in there somewhere, but I wasn't quite sure about the number one spot. But he does deserve it, ladies and gentlemen. 2003, our inaugural season, debuting at the age of six. Man, they start him young. They start him young. But that was a different time, ladies and gentlemen. We have an age cutoff now. You have to be 16 with parental consent. We have a ring. You know, it's, it's not like that anymore. You know, mattresses and just kids doing dumb stuff back then, you know. A lot more focused and safety-oriented now. But that was our top five youngest debuting wrestlers of XCW with a couple honorable mentions in there. Stick with us. Next episode, ladies and gentlemen, season two, episode 10, the finale. It will be the top five backyard wrestling companies that competed with XCW. You do not want to miss it. Be some good stuff on.